Hey, come on. Glad to get away from all that hassle back home. Want to hear my new song? What is it? Rock? Kill the ghetto blaster. Come on, Lauren. Just sit down and listen. Steve, not now. Why not? Because. Huh? I'm going to go take a swim. Yeah. Ice cold. is no good anymore. It's all fished out. Last year we'd catch the limit here every time, remember? Sure do. They'll bite. Just gotta be patient. It's the damnedest thing I ever seen. We should try some other place. Sit tight. Don't worry. It ain't normal. We've been here for more than three hours and not a nibble. Yeah. Well, maybe if you'd quit talking. Just wait. Not even a nibble. Somebody told me about a good place. A few miles south of here. Still water, lots of fish, almost jump in the boat. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's what they say. Anyway, I sure ain't coming back to this place. Must be the pollution. Ain't even tadpoles. <laughs>
right here. Jennifer, label those test tubes so you don't get them confused, okay? Hey, Mark. What's the word? Don't waste so much film. We're gonna need it later. Aye, aye, sir. Don't let him get to you. Leadership's gone to his head. Next, he's gonna remind us we're not on vacation. <laughs> I hate to keep saying it, gang, but we're not here on vacation. <laughs> Smile, sunshine. Our work here's important. Someone's polluting these swamps, and it's our job to find out who. See what I mean? Yeah. Pamela, here. Put that with the others. Hey, uh, you notice anything strange? There are no birds along this stretch of the river. Yeah, you're right. We saw a lot more wildlife yesterday. Hey, Pam? I'm not surprised. Take a look at this. The dyes reveal high acid levels caused by industrial waste. The further we go, the worse it gets. And judging by the variety and toxic nature of these pollutants, Mother Nature didn't do this. This is waste from a chemical plant. There isn't any chemical plant on this island. I should know. I've been living here all my life. Then it's not from the island. Yeah, you're right. Someone's coming to this place and dumping the stuff. Hey, come on, wake up! Let's watch out for sandbars, remember? Damn, what the hell was that? I don't see anything. There. Yeah, well, the next time we're gonna end up on the bottom. I didn't see a thing. What was it? An underwater root or something. Everything okay on that side? Don't see anything, huh, Mark? Yeah, everything's okay. All right, let's get out of here. Shots of that stuff. Water's getting kind of shallow. Jenny, I'm going to need the suit for this. It's a meter deep and the bottom's pretty solid. Hey, Bob. If you get a reading, get the hell away. Are you kidding? I'll be back in this boat faster than you can say Three Mile Island. About him, Candy. Don't worry, he'll be all right. He'll be all right.
radioactive. Get back in the boat! Come, Come on! Damn it, Bob! I said get out of there! Get out of the water! Come on! Things are, things are worse than we thought. <laughs> this isn't your typical industrial waste. It's more like leftovers from Hiroshima. We're not equipped to take on radioactive waste. I say we stay here tonight. Tomorrow we head back to the village and blow the whistle on this place. Hey, don't you think we ought to get a little more information while we're here? It's too dangerous. Yeah, but... Besides, we don't know what exactly is in those barrels or how much. You've had enough exposure today, and I don't want to risk any more. We've got all the information we need to make an environmental report. All right, let's get to shore. You guys tired? I'm beat. I can't keep my eyes open. Oh, you're not the only one. <laughs> hey, Jennifer, look who's the first one to bed tonight. Kevin. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and after all that talk about how this is not a vacation. You know, I bet he's probably going to be the last one up tomorrow, too. <laughs> Poor baby needs his rest. <laughs> well, it's going to be a long day tomorrow. We better hit the sack, too. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm going to bed. Hey, guys, if you come inside the tent, we can do a photo essay for Hustler magazine. <laughs> oh. Too bad I forgot to bring my flash. Oh. Get Good lost. night. Don't know what Good you're night. missing. Good night. Anyone want some more coffee? No, thanks. I'm going to get some sleep. No, thank you. No, oh, thanks. Good night. You know what an early riser she is. She's probably down at the boat. Has anybody seen Candy? Maybe we better have a look down by the water, huh? Hey, Kevin, you know, I don't think we brought enough supplies. Yeah, well, one thing we forgot was bug spread. We'll be back at the village tomorrow. Conchita! 
Conchita! Candy! Conchita! 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 Conchita, where are you? You don't think something's happened to her, do you? Don't worry, she'll turn up. This swamp's no amusement park. Conchita! 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 Conchita, where are you? I just swallowed a bunch of water, that's all. I'll bet Kevin wants to give you 10 <laughs> lashes for taking a dip during working hours. <laughs> Kevin. Yeah? What about Conchita? We've done all we can. We'll get the villagers to help us. Kevin, that was the second time we bumped into something. You have any idea what the hell it could be? No. You really got tits on her ass. Everybody ashore. Keep an eye on the boat, okay, Jose? Si, senor. We'll be back in an hour. See ya. the cops? Judge. He's law, sir. You know police force? Uh, a judge. Mm -hmm. yeah. That way? Yeah, that's your way. Thanks a lot. Bye. Have a nice day. Look, I'm sorry, but I've only got one man and one boat, and I cannot send them into the swamp to search for your friend. You gotta be kidding. Do I look like I'm kidding? You'd do well to keep away from that swamp. But, Judge, we're talking about a case of life or death. A friend is lost somewhere in that swamp. All I can do is call Las Palmas. They can send up more men and dogs.
but it's going to take some time for them to get here. And who knows if your friend is still alive. Well, if she is, it's no thanks to you. Well, what do you expect? That place is all quicksand, snakes, crocodiles. It takes a special breed to make it in there. You guys look a little soft. Yeah, yeah. Look, are you going to help us or not? Don't you people understand? Oh, come on. Look, you don't understand. Conchita's in danger, and every minute we sit around here doing nothing, she has less chance of survival. I told you to keep away from that swamp. Son of a bitch. What did you say, girl? I don't think I heard right. Back off, Pamela. Back off? Why should I? Don't you guys realize he's getting paid off by the bastards who are dumping the waste? That does it. I'm gonna have you all arrested. You're not arresting anybody. Oh, yeah? Who says so? You? If you want this place crawling with reporters in no time flat, then go ahead. Arrest us. Okay. I'm not scared of anybody, and I don't like blackmail. But it's a good thing I've got a good heart. Now you all get out of here before I change my mind. That bastard. We should turn him in. Oh, sure. We'll just dial 911. Yeah, right. We gotta find Conchita. You're right. Let's go. He just wanted to get rid of us. I was looking for you. What's your problem? For a few days, you're going to have to stop dumping your trash into that swamp. The party started to get rough. All I had to do was look the other way. But now those ecology people are here, and they suspect me. Hey, take it easy. You just keep helping us if you don't want me to reveal who you really are, huh? Judge. Radioactive debris. Man, it's worse than the tail end of the Mississippi. Judge, he's looking off the fat of the land. Yeah, tell me about it. Can't go on much longer. Yeah, and we have all the proof we need to nail those bastards. I'd like to get some. Listen, Jenny, what effect could the radioactivity have on this environment? Like I was saying to Pamela, it could result in the death of many species. I think we can identify most of the toxic substances. Shit, we're stuck! What the hell we hit this time? Uh, okay, over here. We're in the mud on this side. Over here, over here. How's the rudder? Yeah, okay, I think. Try the engine. Okay. Push! Nothing doing. Okay, try now. We're wasting our time. Pam, take the wheel. Come on, you guys. In the water. Let's go. Come on. Let's try rocking it free. We're gonna need a tugboat to get out of here. Come on, everybody push together. Come on, heave. Push together, okay? 
Ready? One, two, three. Push. And again. Come on. One, two, three. That's it. We almost got it. Come on, together. Everybody push together. We can do it. Let's go. Push! Don't stop! Once more! I'll get something to leave her with. It was. I don't know yet. Let's go, man. Hey, you know what they say? They say she looked real dead. Yeah, Joe, when they fish her out of the water, she looked all chewed, like something big ate her up. They think it was a croc. Oh, holy mackerel, man. If it be a croc, it'd be a big one. A Just mighty tell big me one. where she is and shut up. The fish market? I'll bet she sell for three buck a pound. <laughs> What's the verdict? I don't know. I'll have to take a closer look. But my first guess is it was an animal, like a crocodile, or maybe a boat prop. For all we know, it was murder. Right. Murder. What are you talking about? Are you saying that we? We're not saying anything. But there are certain facts. Facts? That we have to consider. You might have started innocent enough. Maybe you just wanted to fool around. You know the way things start. A word, a touch. And then before you know it, one thing leads to the next. Who the hell is this guy? Jim Foley, a reporter. If you really are a reporter, why don't you write a nice article about illegal dumping of toxic waste? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. There's radioactive waste in the swamps, and it didn't just suddenly grow there. Hey, hey, cool down. You're going to need proof. I have plenty of water samples. That's proof that somebody's been putting this stuff in the swamp. You do well to come up with proof that you had nothing to do with that girl's death. What kind of a judge are you? 
The kind that doesn't listen to gossip. Oh, I know your type. Idealists, drugs. Then death rears his ugly little head. You're on bad oh, shut up, boy. Am I disturbing something? What do you want, Joe? I want to have a look at the girl who got killed by the crocodile. Maybe it wasn't a crocodile. We have our doubts. Yeah, sure. And we have our doubts about you, Judge. Let me have a look. What do you think it was, Doc? It could have been a boat prop. That's crap. It looks like a crock to me, and a big one, maybe 20 feet. You're out of your mind. You know, the biggest crocks around here don't go that big. Well, do me a favor, then. Tell me, how the hell did she get those marks? You have a right to your opinion, but it's the Doc's report that counts. Who the hell are you? My name's Foley. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, open your ears, Foley. If I say it was a crocodile, it was a crocodile. You understand? Where did this happen? We found her in a silted up lagoon, two hour boat ride from here. Yeah, I know the place. I'll go take a look. Still calling it murder? Get out of here. I don't want to see your ugly faces. Beat it! This place stinks. Hey, who's this Joe character? A ball breaker. He's lived in this swamp for the 30 years. Nobody knows it the way he does. Can we buy him? Joe? He'd knife it just for thinking about it. You know, I just don't think I'm ever going to be able to forget what happened to Conchita. I know how you feel. We're all upset, but that's why we have to get to the bottom of this. I bet that so-called journalist has got something to do with it. Yeah, a real creep. What about that guy, Joe? Joe's a loner. Yeah, he may be a loner. And he may not be on our side, but at least he's not on theirs. Here comes the loner now. Well, it's time to find out what Joe is all about. Be right back. Joe, can I talk to you? About what? Come on, I'll buy you cold beer. Can't say no to cold beer. Let's hear it. You know the swamp better than anybody which means you must have noticed those boats dumping toxic waste. You're those guys all for protecting nature, ecology and all that shit, huh? You think us hunters are just a bunch of gun-crazy rednecks who want to wipe out all animal life, right? Yeah, something like that. Well, it's not true. A senior in his sombrero went riding on a burro to Rio Negro in her new sombrero a senora in her new sombrero went riding on a burro. She went into the water and then she went deeper until her little burro was underwater. And then the senora in. I've had enough of this. I'm going home. All right. Hey, you want to play with me? Ow! Hey, don't play with me. No, I told you to get lost. Can't you see I'm playing with my doll? Hey, where'd she go? Look, you made me drop her. I'm gonna tell my mom. Aw, oh, don't be such a crybaby. I'll get your stupid doll back. Hey, look, it's drowning. Ah! You're in big trouble. Now you're gonna get it. You're gonna get a lake. You're gonna get a lake.
didn't make it. That thing's a real monster. Pablo, they say the crocodile is around 15 meters long. Uh, what you talk about? It was 30 meters long. Uh, no crocodile is that long. That's crazy. You're gonna hunt it down and kill it, aren't you? Sure we're gonna kill it, aren't we, Joe? You bet, Judge. Consider it already dead. No. No, what? What are you talking about, boy? We're against killing of any kind. Is that so? Why don't you go tell us that that monster? He's already eaten two men and would have eaten you if it hadn't been for Joe. You don't understand. That's not an ordinary crocodile. It's probably the only one of its kind. Maybe in these swamps a million years ago, there were thousands of them. Don't you know how important this discovery I is? I don't know nothing. And I don't give a damn about that crocodile. All I care about are the folks who live around here. Well, for starters, you could take security measures. Security measures? Did you get a load of that animal? It's a giant, a killer. It's already destroyed the dock, eaten two men, and probably devoured your lady friend. It still has to be protected. Protected? It has to be killed. I'm warning you. Any more interference and you're all in big trouble. Make up those shells for me. Yeah, but keep it under your hat. I packed these babies myself. They're real dangerous. Are they enough to blow the crocodile away? Are you kidding? With these, you can blow an elephant away. Well, that croc is worse than an elephant. And killing it ain't gonna be easy. Yeah, don't have any illusions. It ain't gonna be easy. Come on, Joe. You ain't scared of no killer crocodile. Yeah. Maybe he's so angry he's out to get me. I'll pay you when I come back. Okay, Tom? Well, I'd feel kind of happier if you paid me now. When I come back. Okay. <laughs> Oh, 
Better move on, Santiago. You going after that crocodile, right, Joe? What do you want? That you don't go. It's unique. An endangered species. You bet it is. I ain't never seen anything like it. It's a monster, a threat to every village in the swamp. Forget it, you guys. I'm gonna kill that sucker. We'll do everything we can to stop you. Everything. Sorry, kids. I'm warning you to stay away from me. Yeah, living in the swamp alongside the crocodiles has had its effect on me. Yeah, I'm a real son of a bitch. Don't you realize? They're ruining the swamp with their waste. We're on your side. You should be helping us, defending it. I mind my own business. I have a feeling that overgrown croc's out to get my bacon, and so that's why I'm gonna get it first. Look, just stay off my back. What do we do? We follow him. And we stop him if he finds the crocodile. Come on, give me a break, will you? Uh, sorry. One Scott. more time. No way, Jose. You need more money? Is that what it is? It's not the money. How's the boat run? Okay. Yeah, sure. That's not it. What's the problem then? It's too risky. Come for on, you. come on. There hey, you go. No come way. on. No way. Drink up. Come on, Captain. No, I can't help you. Come on, one more time. Sorry, forget you it. To. You got to. Uh uh, it's too dangerous, Paulie. Be reasonable, Captain. We need it. Look, there's no danger. I know we gotta do something. I can't travel too much anymore. People are getting suspicious. The swamp is full of that stuff. And I can't come back until you unload those barrels. Blow them up or something. Hey, not only is there a bunch of kids nosing around, I got a ball-breaking crocodile hunter following me. Just keep the stuff hidden for a while, and we'll dump it later. I really feel guilty about Conchita's death. I feel like we're all kind of responsible for what happened to her. Don't tell me you've forgotten what Kevin said when we were back in the village. It's no good feeling guilty. We gotta fight back. It's just that we're the ones who asked her to come with us. You know, if we hadn't asked her to come, she might still be alive. size of the crocodile has uh, something to do with the uh, radioactive waste? I don't know. I mean, it's possible, but I don't think so. I mean, that waste is pure poison. It's highly toxic. Yeah, but the crocodiles around here only grow to about five or six meters. You know, it could be a marine crocodile. I mean, they're much larger. In fact, they get to be Ten meters and more. No, because the marine crocodile's habitat is the Indian Ocean, okay? Yeah, but maybe one of them made it this far. Yeah. No, I think it's the radioactive waste that's responsible. Yeah. What happened now? I don't know. Let me take a look. Fuel pump, maybe? You know about engines? Not a hell of a lot. You check it out. Let me have a look. Forget it, it's dead. Great. Now what? Now we're stuck in the middle of the swamp. Well, gang, we can always swim back to town. <laughs> oh, great, Kevin. Look, we feed you to the croc, and maybe the rest of us will make it. Well, you got it. <laughs>
thought you said the engine had been tuned up the day before we rented the boat. That's what the guy told me. And you believed him. Now how do we get out of this mess? I don't know. Dinner is served. Here, Jenny. Mm. Thanks. Here, Pam. Thanks, Bob. Maybe one of us could go back and get a mechanic to come out here and fix the engine. Kev? Yeah, but if one of us can go back, why can't we all go back to the Great. village overland? Mm. That's not a bad idea. Well, guys, what do you say? Well, maybe we could go for it before it gets completely dark. Are you kidding? We're on the wrong side of the lagoon. There's no way we could make it on foot. Somebody will have to swim to the other side. It's too dangerous. I prefer to stay here. Yeah, I'm for staying right here, and that's it. I'll second that. It's crazy to even think of trying to go anywhere before dark. So what's the decision? I don't know. I feel like a sitting duck here. But swimming to the other side sure as hell doesn't thrill me either. It's too risky. I hope it likes having its picture taken. What do you think you're doing, Mark? I'm gonna photograph the fucker. You're crazy. Hey, get off my case, Bob. There's no way it's gonna get me as long as I stay in the boat. What's the matter with you? Jesus, you saw what it did to the dock. Mark, you can't be serious. Come on, it's too dangerous. No, this is our big chance, Kevin. What if we never see it again? I have to get some photographs. Come on, asshole. Get out of the boat. Don't be a jerk. Come on. No, I'm a photographer. This is my job. Come on, Mark. Look, you stubborn dick. I'm telling you. Hey! What's that? Over there! He's tangled the anchor line. Watch out! Hey, girls! Quick! Help! Help! Hey, what's happening? Hey, guys! Where are you going? Where are you going? For what? For us to sink. Taking our water. Come on, we gotta try to save the boat. Holy fuck! Guys, at least we got a rope. 
You could tow in the boat. But someone has to swim to shore with the other end. Who's going to do it? Me. It's not far. No, I'll go. Tie this to the boat. Christ. Be careful, Kev. Kevin, hurry up. You're almost there. She lives here. Keeps the mice down better than a cat. Just don't pet her when she's hungry. She'll be glad to see some new faces around the house.
Joe. Okay, Joe, I'm here. This crocodile's a beast from hell. Just got another one of those kids. If I were you, I'd inform the county sheriff. I've organized some boys into a hunting party. Oh, that's great. Old Joe's asking for help, huh? You got one foot in the grave, huh, Joe? Go stick it up your ass, Judge. If you'd seen this goddamn thing, you'd have already called in the fucking army and taken off for higher ground. Just do as I say before the son of a bitch kills anybody else. Over and out. I'm worried, Foley. It sounds like Joe's right again this time. I better call in the county boys. You're not calling in anybody. We're going to figure this out ourselves. You heard what Joe said. And if Joe says it's impossible to catch or kill... I can handle that animal, trust me. We just don't need these people sneaking around the swamp, understand? The quicker we settle this, the quicker I get back to work. Now, I got a big load coming. It's going to need Barry. But there's a little something we got to do first. Okay. But I warn you, this is the last load you're bearing in my district, Foley. Yeah. If it happens again, I'm going to telephone the police and tell them the names of the people you work for. You'll find something to eat up on the shelf. Get it. And give some to the girls. But what meat is this? If you're hungry, eat it. If you're going to ask questions, put it back on the shelf. You still think the crocodile should be saved? If I get the chance, I won't hesitate to kill him. Well, I'd sure like to be there. Don't you think I could do it? I didn't say that. Now let's get some sleep. One of you should stand guard. See that hole in the wall? Our friend did that. You never know. He may come back. Hey, kid, careful where you put your feet. Don't step on Pilar. Did you really mean what you said in there? I don't expect you to understand. It's something I gotta do. I understand. If Bob was alive, he'd understand too. Yeah, but he's not. I'm responsible. You're not responsible if I hadn't tried to take that goddamn photograph. Mark, if I hadn't brought you here, none of this would have happened. We all volunteered, Kev. You didn't make anyone do a fucking thing. We all came because every one of us loves this work. Yeah, 
Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe not. Horsepower motor. Nothing can stop us. You don't know the swamp. And you worry too much. I don't want any nasty surprises while I'm working. Look, what's the big deal? It's only a leech. Get it off. Get it off. What a Get the chicken. fucker off my arm. Don't worry, relax. Your blood will probably poison the damn thing anyway. You're not thinking of blowing up those barrels, are you? Well, what the hell do you think we came out here for? You'll pollute the entire swamp. No kidding. You can't do that. There are people who live in the swamp. Fish here, work here. Don't worry about the people. Start worrying about yourself. They find out who you really are. I may be an ex-con, but I'm not a killer. Bastard! Okay, maybe you're right. I won't blow up the drugs. Help! Folly! Help! Help! Folly! I'm drowning! Help! Thank <laughs> you. 
What's happening? Sounded like an explosion. It came from over there. Look, smoke. Guess we better go check it out. One of you stay with the girls. Hey, take the rudder. Hold his course. What do you think exploded? I don't know. We'll have to take a look around. Joe, look. Somebody sent charges to the barrels. We gotta remove them. If those things explode, this entire swamp will be an ecological disaster area. We'll worry about that later. Head in over there. I see something. Keep your eyes open. That damn croc's nearby. I can feel it. God, this waiting's killing me. What do you think has happened? Joe looks like the kind of guy who sure knows what he's doing. I hope so. Something's making you nervous. Slow down, kid. Hit the gas when I tell you to. What are you thinking of doing? Show me a stinking hide. Stick your nose out of the mud. I'll make a purse out of your rotten carcass. Don't scare me, you bastard. I'm right here, you overgrown pollywog. Pollywog? Crocodiles are very sensitive. They get really mad when you insult them. Go real crazy. Just give him time. He'll come after us. They clear the shore. He's not out there studying us, the bastard. But what do you want me to do? Turn back? Uh, stay in the middle. I need 
你背。to eat around here? How could you think of a food? Because I'm scared. I'm telling you, I've been like this ever since I was little. Every time I get scared, I get hungry. Hey, here they come. Look, they're coming back. Crocodile attacked us. Where's Joe? Crocodile got it. Shit. What do you want to do now? Kill the crocodile. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. Grab anything that can be used as a weapon. This is full of gas. We can make Molotov cocktails. Perfect. guys what's happened to us we've changed all right maybe for the worst but that crocodile has to die i want to kill it before it kills anyone else so i guess you've decided do you want us to come with you no you've been through enough
that over there? Jesus, they're eggs. They're enormous. They must be its eggs. Kevin, do we have to? Yes. Let me see if you've got the guts to finish the job we started together. With what? My bare hands? The propeller. Use the propeller, kid. Use the propeller. Try to meet him face to face. It's the only chance you've got, kid. The propeller. Kevin, he's coming back to finish us off. You gotta try. It's your only chance. Wait for him to get close! Kevin, please! Come on! God! He's getting closer! Start! Don't lose your cool! Start! Come on, God damn it!
Joe! Brought you luck, kid. Hang on to it. 